Hi, this is Al Emery from Momentum Software Solutions, showing you a demonstration of the Momentum Progress Claims add-on for MYOB XO job costings. We developed our Progress Claims screen to enable businesses that uh, invoice their customers by way of a Progress Claim based on percent complete, uh, as it is in the standard feature of MYB XO. So I'll take you through the functionality involved. As much as possible, we're utilizing standard functionality in XO job costing and bringing in customization where needed. So to demonstrate the progress claims functionality, uh, you can see I've created a job or project in XO job costing made up of a master job and several stages as well as a variation. Uh, with the applicable job codes. Each of those stages has a quote value or contract amount, and the percent complete of each of those stages is what we'll be using to calculate the claim. So in the master job, uh, each stage has a percent complete field in the header. Uh, that's set to read only, because it should only be maintained in the progress claims application. I show the sub jobs, you can see the uh, total quoted amount or contract amount for the whole project, and that's broken up across the different stages. Uh, so, when it comes time to invoicing from the normal XO invoicing tab, uh, we have added a custom button called Progress Claim. That launches our progress claim application. And there's two or three key things to note with the progress claim screen. Firstly, for very large projects with lots of stages, there's the ability to filter the stages so that only certain stages appear. For example, if a number of the stages are fully complete, then you could ensure that only the in-progress stages were returned in the application. Since this is a smaller project, we can hide the filtering options. Uh, so each stage shows its status. You can update the status from within the application. Um, and the only other thing that you update is the percent complete for each stage. So we see the contract amount, uh, the previous comp percent complete that's been added, uh, the previous claims or invoices that have been raised, and so now we're updating for this claim. So I'll change this stage to 45%, 25, 25. So it's a simple calculation. Contract amount, 5% complete, less for our claims, equals this claim. Uh, so that is the value of the claim we're about to create. We're using a lookup stock code called Progress Claims, and we create the claim. So the operator is notified that the claim has been created. Close the screen, save the master job, and we'll see that the lines uh, that we have created have been added to the job, and they're now able to be invoiced. They can't be edited within the invoice screen, but they can be edited by going back to the progress claim screen and changing the percent complete, which will refresh these percents and values. Uh, commonly, a business would then produce a preview or pro forma, and that might be provided to a manager internally, or in some cases sent to the customer as a claim. So in this case, we're showing the job code, the uh, job name or title, the contract or project amount, percent complete, and the claim amount. Assuming that claim can now proceed, then we're using standard functionality to invoice that job. So all, all of the lines are shown. We use the normal invoice screen in Excel job costing. Produce the invoice.
and we'll print that in our progress coin format. And it shows the same information, except now we've produced a tax invoice. That can be emailed off like a normal invoice. Those lines are set to complete. Uh, the job status may change if needed, otherwise it stays the same. Once that those lines are invoiced, then uh, they are treated as a progress claim as far as XO job costing is concerned, and that enables two things. A reprint can be done at any time using normal or standard functionality. And importantly, any costs associated with that project can be allocated to that progress claim. So in this case, we've got some labour and some materials that have been incurred as costs against the different stages. So we're going to select those lines, allocate them to the progress invoice. In this case, I've got two claims, uh, so I'm going to allocate these costs to the most recent claim. Allocate all. Those lines are now set to invoiced. And that really means that if we're looking at, say, a job profit loss um, calculation on this project, either by sub job or across all of the jobs, then it reflects the proper information. So I've linked a project profit loss report to a custom button on this job. So that project profit loss. That project profit loss uh, now shows, because of the way we've managed the invoice, the revenue or invoice amounts against each individual stage, as opposed to a standard EXO progress claim, which would show it against the master job only. And our allocation of costs against each sub job, and therefore a more accurate profit and margin against each stage or subject. So that's a brief demonstration of the Momentum Progress Claims add-on to NYB XO Job Costing. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask us, then please contact us on inquiries at momentumss.com.au or call us on 07 5479 1877. Thanks for your time.